Okay, so I have my little chain here. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna put it through the first chain. And then I'm going to pull the yarn through the chain. So now see how I have two? Because I have my loop that I had before, the one that I started out with. And then I have the one that I just pulled through the chain. So I'm going to take the yarn again, and I'm going to put it through both of the loops. And now I'm going to do it to the next stitch. I'm going to put it in the stitch. I'm going to pull the yarn through the stitch. Now I have two loops. And then I'm going to pull the yarn through both of the loops. So I have one. I'm going to make a second loop by pulling this yarn through the stitch. So now I have my two. And now I just want one again, so I'm going to drop both of those loops onto one loop. Now I'm going to make a second loop. I'm going to drop both of those loops onto one loop. I'm going to make a second one. And I'm going to drop both of those onto one. Now since I'm at the end of my row, I'm going to chain one. And what that does is that makes it so I can go back into this stitch. Because you want, when you turn, you want uh, one stitch in between to turn with. That gives you a little room so that you're... Um, your stitches don't get too crowded. Okay, so now I've got these on the top here. So in the first one, we just went through one of the loops. Now we're going to go through the V. So I'm going to put my hook through the V. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it through and make a second loop, just like I did on the first row. So now I have two. And then I'm going to drop both of those onto one loop. And I'll show you again from the next stitch. I'm going to put it through the V like this. And I'm going to pull the yarn through so that I have two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to put pull the yarn through both of the loops at the same time. And every row that you do after that is going to be the same way. You're going to do that stitch in every stitch across the row. And when you get to the end, when you get to this last stitch, after you pull the, after you do the stitch in the loop, in the stitch, like after you finish it and it's square, then you're just going to chain one. And then all you have to do to start the next row is just flip your work over. And then stick your yarn, stick your hook in the V and just go right back across the row. So there's nothing special like when you're when you're doing it, you work from right to left. So when you get all the way to the left and you're at the end, all you have to do is just turn it around. Okay?